feel that in your in your real life? Like, had just like the most awkward moment trying to like pick up a girl, and you're like, why did I say that? Oh, always. Always. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know that I've ever felt uh, especially uh, confident in that manner, but. Um, any pickup lines? <laughs> no. Maybe that was the problem. Like when they literally try and physically pick me up, it is very awkward when they try and pick me up. Like I'm very much heavier than I look. That, that's that's pretty awkward. Awkward. Like, can yeah. I just take you home with me? That's Lifting me is just weird. Yeah. It takes courage. It takes courage for a man to go up to a woman at a bar and talk to her. It takes courage for a woman to go up to a man because the fear of rejection is always prevalent in your mind. Always. You and you don't want to feel small. You don't want to feel ugly. And you sometimes you're afraid you're going to go up with great confidence. And even though your intentions up here on loving and like hey you seem like a really nice person would love to get to know you the if the wall is up then you feel very ugly you know you guys have done such a good job at really getting into the mind of a geeky nerd how is that like are you guys all secretly nerds in real life like what's the nerdiest thing about you uh, <laughs> I think it's just passion is really and it's almost used as a verb it is like oh i geek out over this or that i'm a huge star wars fan i'm a huge lord of the rings fan so huge lord of the rings fan i didn't start this with the idea that they were nerds i really didn't that kind, smart that kind of happened later i i always was in, fascinated by that they were brilliant in science but entirely ignorant of day-to-day -day life i mean keith richards is a, he's a guitar dork you know, and that's what makes him who he is. So these guys, they just happen to be nerds for science, and I just happen to be a nerd for acting and storytelling. Wait, you're a nerdy actor. All right, okay. I'll take it. you're successful. I've been called worse just <laughs> on the drive here. And my dog is called Boba Fett. So oh. I'm gonna get another one. We're gonna, we're gonna have the Fetts, Django and Boba. What's your favorite part about being on this show? Oh my gosh, um, we had a table read today, which would be our, like our 260th table read, and people were laughing so hard as if we had just started the show and the characters were new. And I just looked around, and I'm like, how after this many years, we're still laughing and it's still this funny? I mean, I'm just very proud of this, this group of people have been so committed for so long. What's your favorite part about playing this character on this show? I love his innocence and his purity. You know, and it's it's rare. It's rare in this day and age to have a character that is so pure and so innocent and so loving in a way. And it's really fun, refreshing for me to get out of the real world and the bubble and then go on stage and play this just very, very innocent character. The scenes with Penny and Leonard, are, those are always, they're probably the most difficult um, and always have been. Can you relate to him? You're not innocent at all, are you? <laughs> well, <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> uh, no, that's not true at all, actually. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I relate to him in many ways. We have the same story, you know. I, I helped create this character very much over the years. Just uh, there's some of the writers took some inspiration from my Indian roots, and, and I relied on their writing. And we brought this to life. And so, yes, we have many similarities. We probably rehearsed those more than any. When the, not just between the two of them, but in discussing and the, the their relationship and kind of traversing those areas of the heart are always really fun and complex to dig into. Who's the biggest goofball on set? Who plays all the pranks? First of all, it's an extremely professional cast. They show up ready for work. Yeah, they're really, pre everybody comes prepared and ready to go. Nobody, nobody takes it lightly. Nobody takes it for granted that the show's doing well. Everybody works really hard. Kelly's probably you know, the one most likely to screw around. Really? Mess around with your head, but it's generally a very peaceful, quiet, serene environment. 